Body Count is a first-person shooter video game for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 video game consoles. It was developed and published by Codemasters. It is considered a spiritual successor to the 2006 video game Black. Plot Body Count revolves around Jackson, a former American soldier recruited by the enigmatic network, who has normally resolved conflicts between countries where even the UN could not. Over time, Jackson realizes that wars are caused by some mysterious individuals. Gameplay The game is set in first person. One of the main features is environment destructibility, nearly everything in the game is expected to be destructible. Environments and most of everything in them is destroyed realistically, creating a dynamically changing playing environment. By scoring kills, the player can unlock deadly power-ups such as airstrikes that further decimate the environment. There is a unique cover system where the player has near-complete freedom while in cover. Multiplayer is available in competitive and cooperative modes. The former offers traditional deathmatch-style sessions individual or team-based and the latter challenges two players to survive increasingly difficult waves of enemies. Reception Bodycount received «mixed» reviews on both platforms according to video game review aggregator Metacritic. As a result of very mixed reception Codemasters closed down their Guilford studio, laying off 70 employees and cutting down Codemasters' studio base by a third. The Guardian gave the Xbox 360 version a score of 3 stars out of 5, saying that the game isn't the future of first-person shooters, but it is great fun. The Daily Telegraph gave the same version 2.5 stars out of 5, saying that it professes to be a reaction to overblown, scripted rollercoaster FPSEs, but never manages to bring a whole lot to the table for itself. Body Count even makes a fuss over destructible cover, which was done better by Battlefield Bad Company. Body Count is not a poor game, just a confused and unremarkable one, even if those instant restarts really are wonderful." However, the Digital Fix gave the same version 4 out of 10, calling it an ill-conceived, poorly constructed, seemingly rushed mess which isn't fun and in no way warrants its full price tag. It's all been done before and a hell of a lot better, many times, keep your cash in your wallet or purse. 411 Mania gave the PlayStation 3 version a score of 3 out of 10, saying that it had a ton of potential. There are a few moments in the campaign that are quite fun and enjoyable but that isn't enough to make this a great game by any means. Overall, it lacks in almost every area. It should have taken a note from Bulletstorm and focused on fun, over-the-top kills and details maps instead of trying to do everything perfect. The game lacked in almost all areas and I cannot say this was an overall enjoyable experience. <laughs>